morning students today we are going to study the lesson li chang's flute li chang was a talented flautist but his master treated him cruelly read the story to find out what happened to li chang when he met a old kind man it is a chinese folk tale a folk tale is a folk uh, genre that typically consists of story passed down from generation to generation orally these kinds of stories were meant to give an explanation of things people did not understand discipline children or to simply pass the time different cultures have different uh, folk tales and a lot of times they are varying versions of the same story the story is about a boy named li chang Once upon a time in China there lived a landlord who hired a very talented shepherd boy who could play flute named Li Chang. Li was liked by everyone in the village as he was very helpful too. People from neighboring village used to gather to listen to Li, Li Chang play flute. However, the landlord didn't like it and got angry at Li as he couldn't get his work done properly. One day he got furious and broke Li's flute. Poor Li had to leave the landlord's house and wand and wandered through the village. He was homeless, hungry and nearly fainted when an old man saw him in the forest and took him to his home. After Li narrated his story, he made Li a beautiful flute out of bamboo. It was better than the old flute and Li played melodiously. Even the animals gathered to listen to him play flute. The old landlord heard of this and decided to put an end to Li's flute playing. He called his sons and told them about his dream, where he saw a white rabbit with a black spot on the top of its head. He asked them to find the rabbit and told them that whosoever is able to do so shall inherit all his land. Yuan, the eldest son of the landlord, thought that being eldest, he should inherit all the land and thus decided to go. He reached a forest where he met an old man and told him what he is looking for. The old man suggested him to go to Li who would be tending his cattle. You would found Li. Li agreed to help but asked for thousand strings of cash. You would agree happily. In the evening he returned with money and found Li playing flute with animals gathered around him. He spotted the white rabbit among them. Li held the rabbit and gave it to Yuan, asking him not to lose it. He set off from home. When the rabbit jumped out of Yuan's hand, he begged Li for help, but he couldn't as he had warned him earlier and thus he lost both the rabbit and the thousand string of cash. Disappointed, he returned back to his house. The second and the third son decided to catch the rabbit and but met the same fate as Yuan. The landlord got angry and decided to find the rabbit himself. The moment Li saw him, he felt hurt all over again. He started playing flute before the old man could talk to him. All the animals surrounded the old man and he got scared. He begged for mercy from Li. Li agreed to help if he met two of his conditions. First, he should donate half of his land to the poor in the village. Second, he should never bully poor people. The landlord learned a lesson and did as promised as he understood the power of Li's flute. Let us understand the chapter. You lazy boy, do I pay you to sit here and play the flute all day? Who does the speaker refer as the lazy boy? Why is the speaker angry? What kind of the person was the speaker? The second question is, Father, we have never heard of such a rabbit. What kind of a rabbit is the speaker topic talking about? Who is the father in the Abu line? What did the father want them to do? Thank you. Have a nice day.